Hey everybody, what's up? I uh, just had a bit of a cold snap. It's about six degrees when I had a look just before. Uh, so I thought this was the perfect time to try out a product that I picked up recently while it was on sale. And uh, that's these Dry Guy Travel Boot Dryers. Uh, they're a portable one, so perfect when you go away camping. Uh, the likes, it comes with a US adapter. Uh, doesn't really matter so much here in Australia. And it also has the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug for traveling. That's the purpose that I'm going to be using it for. So I figured while we've got a cold day, I uh, may as well give it a try so I can let you guys know whether it's a good product or not. So here I've got old set of snowboard boots, uh, quite worn out. I was going to throw them in the bin. I figured why not give them a uh, test first before that happens. So being that there's no snow at the moment, I can't exactly go out get them all uh, snowy for testing them. So what I'm gonna really do is put them to the test. I'm gonna fill them full of water, uh, let them soak for a little bit. Uh, I'll then tip it out and we'll chuck the dryers in. See how they go drying them out. Uh, just surely unless you're uh, doing something like a pond skim, your boots won't end up this wet. So it'll be a nice good test for them. So uh, let's get into it. Let's go fill them up full of water. Got the boots, stick them in, and tap on, filling them right up. Running out from everywhere, but that's all right. This other one in. Yeah, yeah, nice and wet. So if your uh, boots or anything like this, well, I think you're doing it wrong. Right, I'm just gonna let them sit there for a few minutes, make sure they're uh, nice and wet. As I said before, once this test's done, they're uh, going in the bin. Uh, I'll put the laces off as they're brand new, but yeah, the boots have well and truly passed their use by date. So even if this doesn't work out and they end up wrecked, I'm really not stressed. So uh, while those boots are soaking, uh, let's open up the dryers and uh, take a look at what actually comes in the package. Okay, there's the uh, US adapter I was talking about, but we don't need that, so we can just go over there. Standard cigarette lighter plug. It's gonna be perfect. I have a battery here with a cigarette lighter ready to rig up. Uh, very similar to what I have when I go camping. Um, yeah, so this is what I'll be using next season uh, if they work out all right to get my boots dry. As this season just gone, it was horrible the next day putting into kind of damp boots and spending the day in them, it was never a fun feeling. So hopefully, this will make that a lot better. So yeah, they're pretty straightforward. Obviously you've got two fans, one for either boot. Uh, these aren't suitable for gloves or anything else. They're only for boots or other shoes. Uh, so yeah, that's a little downside, but again, it's for traveling and anything that makes the boot a bit drier is going to be a bonus at this point in time. So yeah, two dryers, cigarette lighter plug, plenty of lead on it. Just slip them in, switch it on, and uh, hopefully they dry the boots. Let's uh, go check out on our boots at the moment, and they should be nice and damp. We'll tip the water out, bring them in here, and uh, hook it up. So the boots have been uh, soaking for a while now. I'm just tipping them out. As you can see, they are very wet and extremely heavy. Just uh, set them upside down for a moment to get the majority of the actual water out before we uh, chuck the heaters in them. As I said before, there's no point, just, your boots should really be this wet unless you're doing something like a pond swim uh, and even then, unless you're really swimming in them. 
this is uh, going to be putting him to a real test. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my uh, bit of a setup, battery, cigarette lighter, very similar as I yeah, would have set up in my car, although that's normally mounted and everything, not just a, a battery sitting in my uh, back room. Uh, boots, uh, just sitting on a plastic uh, lid, mainly because they're still quite a bit wet. I don't want to make a big puddle. So uh, let's hook these up for a start. Yep, we're going. So first thoughts are they're very quiet, which is a good thing if you're camping anywhere near them, or you know, staying in the same room as them. Uh, yeah, they're not going to keep you up at night, so that's uh, quite a good thing. We'll just disconnect that, uh, slide them into the boot. All right, so one in each. Nice and open, put the battery back up. Can hear them starting to kick in. So yeah, basically what we'll do now is we'll uh, leave that, we'll check back a little later and uh, see how they work out. Hopefully there's uh, some improvement, but yeah, we're putting these to a pretty good test I reckon. Yeah, I'm uh, really hoping that they do work out because, yeah, it'll be great for next season uh, when I'm staying in places that I don't have power or I'm not coming home or anything like that so I can get boots dry and be back out feeling fresh the next day on the mountain. <coughs> okay, so I left them to dry uh, overnight, so around eight to nine hours. Uh, let's pull the heaters out. Okay, they feel a bit wet around the top and uh, also down in the the bottom. Uh, I would say they damp, um, similar to that that I would find after a day of riding. So considering we did soak them up quite well, uh, I would have liked to have seen a bit drier. However, it uh, is definitely a good improvement. So I think the best thing to do now is that they are at a level of dampness that we'd find after a normal day is I'm going to chuck the heaters back in we'll switch them back on and check back on them later and yeah see if they actually do dry up nicely uh, as they should after yeah, a day of riding so we could wear them fresh in the morning so yeah let's check back later Okay, it's uh, been about five hours later. Just taking them back out. Uh, the top still feels a little damp. However, we are nice and dry feeling down in the sole area. But yeah, still, still a bit wet. So basically, where the fan's sitting down here, it feels pretty good. Um, however, yeah, I guess because it doesn't blow a lot of air, you know, it hasn't really got up to the top here and, and dried it out nicely. But yeah, definitely a good improvement down in the base. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, they seem to do something. Probably not quite as good as I would like. Um, but yeah, they are just a small portable style. So I guess what I'll have to do is uh, Wait until we get up the mountain next season so we can put them to a real good test uh, the proper way. But yeah, it is a bit of improvement. Uh, at this point, I probably wouldn't buy them at full price. However, I did get them on a pretty good special at the time. Uh, so yeah, it's worked out not too bad. But yeah, I'll uh, leave my final judgment for yeah when I test them in the snow next season. Thanks for watching my review on the Dry Guy Travel Dry DX Portable Boot and Shoe Dryer. Uh, I'll chuck a link in the description below if you want to look further into it. I hope you got something out of it. If you've had any experience with portable boot dryers, whether it's the Dry Guy or something else, 
Chuck it in the comments below your experience and what you thought about it. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.